In the past few months, we have seen a wave of advanced deep research agents from Gemini's deep research tool that can generate 30 plus pages of reports to Grok's research agent with powerful web search and dashboard creation capabilities. More recently, we all heard of OpenAI introducing its own ChatGPT agent. Not quite a pure research agent, but one that mimics the capabilities of both Gemini and Grok offering autonomous workflow for research, app generation, and much more. The catch, all these tools are locked behind paywalls with limited local deployment options, if any. But what if I was to tell you that there is a powerful open source alternative that you can run locally for free? Well, that is where I would like to introduce Open Deep Research. Open Deep Research is a new project by Langchain that's quickly becoming one of the most popular agentic research tools in the open source space. It's simple, it's configurable, and deeply extensible. It supports multi-model providers, web searching integrations, MCP, in-depth research generation, and dashboard and report creation. So whether you're a researcher, developer, or a builder, Open Deep Research is going to give you that flexibility that you would get from Grok's Deep Research Agent or from Gemini's, as well as from something like the new ChatGPT agent. So how does it actually work? Well, Deep Research follows this three-step process. It first scopes out the task by classifying user intent and generating a focused research brief. It is going to start off with the scope and then send it over to the research phase. This is where a supervisor agent delegates parts of the research to multiple sub agents that search, analyze, and clean their findings using a configurable tool set or even a model that is best fitted for that. And then at the end, once there is enough context that is gathered, it is going to then send it off to the LM to generate the complete report in one shot based off the original brief that was sent in from the scoop agent. Before we get started with today's video, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Stream. If you're building any kind of social app, don't waste months reinventing the wheel. With Stream, you get developer-friendly APIs to launch real-time chat, Zoom-style video and voice calls, Instagram-like feeds, as well as AI-powered moderation in days, not months. Whether you're building a WhatsApp-style messenger, a Discord-style community, or a personalized feed like Twitter or Instagram, Stream's got you covered. It's all powered by a global edge network, meaning sub 100 MS latency for your user anywhere in the world. Moderation, handled. Stream uses AI plus human in the loop filtering to keep your community safe. And this isn't just for indie devs. 1 billion plus end users rely on Stream through apps like Strava, Match Group, Yep, Nextdoor, as well as Peloton. So if you're working on the next big app, don't build all this from scratch. Start scaling from day one using Stream. Try it out for free using the link in the description below. But with that thought, let's get right back into today's video. Now let's get started and showcase how you can set this up locally. It's super simple and you can easily get started once you have the prerequisites fulfilled. Make sure you have Git installed as well as Python. Once you have these two things installed, you can then get started with the installation process. First things first is copying this first command over here to clone the repository. Now, what I want you to do is open up your command prompt and you can simply go ahead and paste this in. This will start cloning the open deep research repo. And once it has been finished cloning, you can then go into the actual open deep research directory by typing in CD and then the directory name and click enter. Then what you want to do is you want to set up the virtual environment. And to do that, just simply go ahead and paste in this UV command, and then you can activate it. Once that is done, you can then install the dependencies. And this is by simply going ahead and copying this command, pasting it into your command prompt. And this will install everything that is necessary to have open deep research fully functional locally. Once that is done, you can then set up your .env file to customize the environment variables. To do this, simply go ahead and open up your IDE whatever code editor you would like to use to edit these environment variables. In this case, I'm going to be using VS Code. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the open deep research directory within VS Code. So I've opened up the open deep research directory and you want to head over to the .env that you just copied. It's simple. Just simply run this command within your terminal and then you can set up the .env file to customize the environment variables. Now I know you're going to be able to see that there's different providers that you can use. There's no open source provider. 
But if you wanted to, you can use Olama with Open Deep Research. They have a guide for local models through Olama, and you can simply follow through with this to easily set it up. It's really simple. I'll leave a link to this in the description below so that you can easily use open source models with Open Deep Research. But now I'm going to go ahead and provide all the API keys that is essential. And then I'm also going to be providing my Langsmith API key so that it's going to be easier for uh, debugging as well as just tracking all the different. Uh, logs of the deep research agent. After your environment variables have been configured, you can save that file and close it. And then you want to launch the assistant with this following command. So you can then head back into your command prompt and then paste in this command. And it's going to be then opening up within our local host. So we can go ahead and copy this and we can open it up within our web browser. Now, something else that I want to note is that you have the ability to open up the Studio UI as well. So this is a way for you to track the logs with Langchain if you have set the API key for this. There's also an API doc that you can access. But now you can see that we have it running within this UI over here. Now, before we start actually using our research agent, we got to understand the graph and configure our agent so that's best interpreted for our own need. Now, what you want to do first is click on Manage Assistant. This is where you can give it a name and then you can configure all the things like max structured output retries, the search API that you want to use. You have different options, the max amount of tool calls, research iterations, the models you want to use, as well as MCPs and tools. Now, once you have configured that, you can click on create new agent or your new assistant. And now what I can do is head over to the chat tab and I can start generating any sort of research or any sort of complex query that I want to have resolved with this new deep research agent. You can also show the tool calls and you can even upload files or images. So here is a prompt I'm going to send in. This is where I'm going to have it conduct a comprehensive research summary of the topic of large language models for code generation. I'm going to send in this prompt and I'm asking it to gather key recent developments, identify gaps, and it's going to work on tackling this task. Now it's going to take some time to do this because it's going to need to use all of its different tools from web search all the way to conducting the research itself, as well as focusing on constructing as well as deploying AI agents to formulate this research. So let's see what actually ends up generating. And there we go. We have our AI research paper that was fully generated. Now you can see that it was also able to use the web searching capabilities to find references and it listed out all the different sources over here. Now, this is just one little example of what you can do with it. There's so much more to it. If you especially enable different tools as well as MCPs, you can get better answers. You can get better generations, like even generating apps as well as solving complex queries. But that's basically it, guys, for today's video on this new Langchain Open Deep Research Agent. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. I hope this was valuable to you. And if you want to access all these different links, I'll leave it in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join our newsletter as well as our private discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.